Meanwhile, Brazil has launched a green exchange that enables farmers to comply with the country's new codes. Now, with a click, a property owner can comply with the new environmental laws. The new program is meant to protect Brazil's forests. Lucretia Franco reports. Brazilian farmers and ranchers who have cleared forests beyond the legal allowance or legal reserve can come into compliance by purchasing forest quotas from those who have more untouched forests than required. A digital platform called BV Rio, standing for Rio de Janeiro Green Exchange, founded by Pedro Moura Costa, could help protect forests while enforcing the law. Brazil has over 5 million rural properties, and there, 4 million of those properties do not have excess legal reserve. So you create a market between this 4 million that do not have and the 1 million that may have. The Green Exchange works like any stock market. Buyers or sellers place their offers to buy or sell quotas for a price that is determined by supply and demand. The average price now is around $300 per hectare. The transaction, though, has restrictions. Trading in green quotas is only allowed within similar types of vegetation areas. The required amount of native vegetation ranges from 20% in some ecosystems to 80% in the Amazon rainforest. Many environmentalists are welcoming the green exchange to create more awareness and to prevent more destruction. But they say the process needs to be monitored. This exchange is a way to value, in a solid way, the importance of vegetation. The more we face this issue with transparency and ranchers know what it represents, and people overall understand the importance of forests, the better. Fixing a monetary value to a living tree is still controversial, but making it worth more than one that has been cut down could help halt deforestation. Enforcement of environmental laws, though, still remains in the hands of the government. Lucrecia Franco, CCTV, Rio de Janeiro.